It's easy to become numb to the steady drumbeat of protest night after night to forget the individual lives at the center of the Black Lives Matter movement. It is why we are asking Arizonans to talk to us from the heart one on one about what it's like being black in Arizona. Tonight, three generations of the polite family tell us in their own words. My name is Melvin Polite, and we are three generations in living in Arizona. Being black in Arizona, I've been here since 82, coming from New Orleans. Uh, it's been a change. There, there are shirts out there that says, uh, I can't breathe. I think of that in a lot of ways. It's not just the physical, I can't breathe. It's the economic, the social, financially. You know, I can't breathe. Economically, I can't breathe. You know, we need to have a conversation like we're collaborating now. Sunday is a very special day for my family. My family come together, I cook. It's for us to talk about what's going on with us. I've never experienced racism ever uh, until I got here. I've always had to de defend my kids, so it's been, you know, whether it was at work, I've gone to one of my kids' jobs to actually defend her. My name is Persona, and I am a second generation of the Polite family here in Arizona. Growing up in Arizona, being a uh, African-American woman, it's been very difficult. I've gone to high school where they've literally spray painted the N-word across and it's been on the news. So with everything that's going on with the protests, I really do hope that everyone involved, everyone outside, those that are maybe closed-minded, open up their minds. The best way that I've learned to deal with everything is to educate not only myself, but others to make sure that the kids that I teach, you know, um, in the special needs program understand that we're all going to be different, but with us being different, that doesn't mean we have to treat each other any other way besides being human beings. My name is Alea and I'm in the third generation of the Polite family. You know, people think they know a lot. They think they know where you come from and they don't. And when I was younger, I didn't really have friends because like I went to a school where it's like mostly white people and I didn't really know who I was because kids would tell me, oh, you're white, you, you're just like us, you have nice hair. Like, yeah, I have nice hair. And then I would ask my mom, you know, am I black, am I white, am I both? And she told me, she's like, you're black, you're black and you need to be proud of that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I just pray that um, parents would um, begin to talk to their kids more about racism and you know, let them know that, hey, when I bleed and you bleed, um, it's the same blood. 